Welcome to Dataverse. In this video, I will show you how you can use Dataverse to easily acquire, cleanse, and perform advanced analytics on your data before publishing the results to Tableau in just a few steps. For this example, I will use artificial election data to predict the upcoming US election results. The first step will be to acquire our three data sources using the CSV node. We can search for the CSV node by typing in CSV in the search box in the top left hand corner, then dragging the node onto the canvas. We will then need to populate the file property to point to the full path of the file, in this case our 2012 election data, and then rename the node and run the node. Once a node has been run, you will be able to view the process records. By clicking the record count next to a node, you will find one of the most powerful features of Dataverse, which is the data viewer. This section allows you to inspect the transform data as it flows through the data flow. Within this section, you can inspect, sort, filter, reorder the columns and export the data. Next, we will acquire our data that needs to be predicted, once again using the CSV node and rename this node to prediction data. Finally, we will use a CSV node to acquire our polling data and rename this node to polling data. For the next step, we will need to convert all three data sets to the relevant data types. In Dataverse, we have a pre-built node called the data analyzer node that will perform all the data type conversions for us. All we need to do is drag the data analyzer node onto the canvas, attach it to our data source and run the node. Next, we want to calculate the age of the voters and whether they voted Democratic or not. We also want to exclude columns. We will use the transform node to do all of this. The transform node provides a powerful range of script-based data transformation capabilities. As we will be applying the same logic to the prediction data, we can simply copy and paste our transform node and attach it to the prediction data without the need to rewrite the logic. So we will highlight the node we want to copy right click and select copy and then right click on the canvas and paste the node. Now that we have our training data prepared, I will use the logistic regression node to create a logistic regression model. I will search for the logistic regression node, drag it onto the canvas and attach it to the model training data. I will need to specify what to do if the model already exists. How I want to output the model, in this case as a file, and so we'll also need to populate the model output directory. Now I want to specify the dependent variable, which is to be modeled on the independent variables, in this case it will be the democratic vote. And finally, specify the independent variables or predictors that will be used to model the dependent variable. In this case, we will use gender, party and marital status. That's it. Now we can simply run the node and the first output pin will provide us with the column containing the full path to the model created by the node. We can now use this model to make a prediction on our data. In order to make the prediction, we must use the predict logistics regression node. The first input to this node will be our data set that needs to be predicted. Then in order to specify the model to be applied, we need to take the first output from the logistics regression node and drag it into the predict logistic regression node. This will create an additional input pin. After this, we will need to specify from which column the model path can be obtained using the model file path property.
Once this node has been executed, we will have our predictions based on our model. Now that we have our data with our predictions, we need to output the data so Tableau can access it. Within our Dataverse nodes, we have a pre-built output Tableau node that allows us to output to the TDE format. All we need to do is specify the file path and name in the output file name property. Moving to our polling data, for this example, we will only be analyzing data including and after 2008. We can filter for these records using a transform node. In the next step, we will need to create a column in our data to specify the leader in the respective states. We will again use a transform node to create this column, using the candidate percentages given in the data, then finally rename the node. We are now ready to output our polling data. Once again, we will use the output Tableau node to do this. We will need to specify the full path and file name we wish to output in the TDE format, and then run the node. Just before we move on to Tableau, I'd like to show you the trace field function. The trace field can be very useful to see how a particular piece of data flows through your analytic application. For example, say within Tableau you do not understand where the visualization came from. You can navigate back into Dataverse, select the field you'd like to trace, and trace through all the changes that have been made to the data which were used to build the analysis. There are two ways to trace a field. The first option is to choose a field name from the trace field drop down menu at the top right hand of the screen. Any pin or wire which contains this field will be highlighted in the data flow. To undo the trace field, scroll back up to the top of the trace field menu and select the blank option. The second option is to access the data viewer. Navigate to the field you would like to trace. In the columns menu, choose the trace field and the chosen field will be traced through the data flow. Now that we have created our two TDE output files from Dataverse, we can move to Tableau where we have a pre-built dashboard that uses the two TDE files as the data sources. Now moving into Tableau, I'm going to firstly connect to the two TDE output files produced in Dataverse. This dashboard has been built using the two data sources that we have just published from Dataverse. We can see this by selecting each of the data source properties. In the dashboard, we are showing the results based on our predictions using an adjustable threshold parameter. And in the lower half of the dashboard, we are showing the output of the polling data using the leader in each state. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to download a copy of Dataverse, join our online community, or watch more videos like this one, please follow the links below.